Hello everybody, this is your boy, the Almighty Green Talent, coming to another video. Before I get right to this video and what it's about, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe to the video. Don't forget to um, share it. Don't forget to comment after the video is complete. And don't forget to do what needs to be done necessary to get the content out for your enjoying pleasure. Okay, now, this video is about last night's game, the Philadelphia Eagles at Kansas City. Now, this game had me in an uproar yesterday because I thought coming after the bye week, they would play better, play more consistent on offense, defense, and start new plans how to beat teams, um, new defensive schemes, playoffs that they got um, off the free agent market or off the streets or via the trade, they would pick up the game quicker and learn more. That ain't what happened, or that's or that, or that, that not what was on display last night in this game against the Kansas Chiefs. Now, Kansas the Chiefs doing themselves by dropping nine balls. Um, one fumble that, 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 that was punched out by, um, by Roby. Out of, the, out of the arms of uh, of Travis of Travis Kelsey, which saved the touchdown, you know, thank God for that. That's that what I call alertness, where the ball is punching. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they did last night. The Eagles this year have punched the ball out of opponents' hands three times this year. They did it against Kansas City Chiefs. They did it against the Jets, and I think they did it against the Miami Dolphins. I believe. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I do know it was the Kansas City Chiefs, and I do know it was the um, the uh, 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 um, the New York Jets for sure. But that's not what this video is really about. This video is about how this Eagles team is playing. Um, it was a sloppy victory, 21-17 against the Kansas City Chiefs, a game that Kansas, like I said, a game that Kansas City had many opportunities, had nine opportunities to win to win this football game, nine opportunities, but. Of those nine, they had seven drops, I believe. I could be wrong. Right. So seven or nine drops. Um, Kansas City Chiefs defense was, was on blaze. I mean, they had, they sacked Hurts nine times in, in this game, which what I'm going to talk about also in the video later in the video. Um, defense, I'm not exactly sure what to say about defense. Um, coming in ranked number one against the run, and Kansas City Chiefs had over 100 some yards rushing against us, which is the first time and the most we allowed this season. Um, I thought they would, I thought they would have installed, installed some new plans, offensive and defensive, like I, like I said, but that wasn't the case. This team still playing the same way, so I'm going to say this, and um, fan base don't get upset or get pissed or comment in my comment section below getting your frustration because you know what I'm, what I'm about to say you know I'm right um, this Eagles offense is going to be playing this way for the rest of the season there's no if, ass and buts about it and there's no way around it that's where this offense going to be playing and it's going to be sloppy football the rest of the way um, defense the same way um, it's, I mean, and the reason why they plan this way is because you got an offensive coordinator that's new and you got a defensive coordinator that's new. So it's going to take some time. It's going to take more time to adjust than the, than what I thought it was going to be. I thought after the bye week, they would have, they, they would, they would have gotten used to Sean decides play calling, but don't, don't, it don't seem that way. And Brian Johnson's play calling don't seem that way. So this is what we're gonna be dealing with the rest of the season. There's no way uh and, and, and they don't even answer bus about it. It really ain't. So we can sit up here and uh we can catch brain aneurysms, heart attacks, blood clots, or, high, or get high blood pressure for that matter. It ain't gonna make no difference now. Cause this team is gonna be playing this way the rest of the season. I just pray and hope that how they're playing don't cost them down the road because see now we got the next sunday afternoon against the buffalo bills with buffalo Bills coming to philadelphia 
and that could be a, a, another slobber knuckle game, a, another AFC um, North team we got to play. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this is what this is what, what this is what we're faced with. Hold on just a minute. This 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 this, this is what we faced with, and this is this is how the team will be playing the rest of the season. I mean. We can, like I said, we can gripe about it all we want to. We can get pissed off about all we want, but it, 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 it's the way it is. It's the way it is. And uh, I think I'm going to stop commenting on Facebook about the games going forward. I'm going to try my best not to because, see, I mean, there are some boneheaded plays the Eagles need to correct. And one of them is blocking. Now, now we get to the offensive line. Uh, they got to they they got to protect Hurts better than what they did last night against Kansas. Kansas sacked Hurts five times, which is pretty much the most that he been sacked this season in one game. In five times, he, he been sacked three, two or three times, maybe four times, but never but never five sacks. And so that is what got to be worked on. Um, the disappointing part I hate about that sack though is when um, Lane Johnson he thought he pushed um, that uh, what's his name um, that that defensive end tackle he thought he pushed that guy away from Hurst but he didn't Hurst was still in, in his three three or four stop drop and that guy turned around and sacked Hurst for a loss on third down and um, that is that's disappointing to watch i mean how can you I mean how can you push a guy away into your quarterback that's uh that's a question that remains to be thought of and processed at this time but i'm not going to process that thought you guys can if you want to but i'm not going to and it just it just out of this it's just out of this world the way the way the eagles team is playing but like i said it's, it's out of this world. I mean, you can go from moon to moon, planet to planet, star to stars, universe to universe. It ain't gonna change anything because this way the team is playing. This one, we, 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 we've been playing this way all season, and I expect the same thing the rest of the way. It ain't it, it ain't no change. Like I said, I pretty hope that the way they're playing does not cost them games down the road. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Buffalo is our next it's our next opponent. They at the Buffalo. Uh, we got another team at home. Then we got Dallas. Dallas is 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 is, is, is fourth down the third or fourth down the road when we play them, and it's in, in, in Dallas. So we can't afford to be playing like I did the rest of the way. But like I said, I I can't speak on it because this was this was going to happen. The way we're playing now, it's the same playing the rest of the way. I just hate them. the Eagles. The Eagles should be ten and zero if they're nine and one. Ten and zero. Uh, and 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 it's it's just it's it, it's it's a process. We have to process this information and and try and try to see what the team is going to do going by week by week to play these opponents. A road, on the road or at home, uh, I just expect better protection this time around in this in this game. Now, now the defense did real well against Kansas City yesterday, yesterday but cause, like I said, I really I really wanted the Eagles to put a, to put a lock on on Pacheco on, on Pacheco. I wanted to lock Pacheco down. They did a good job of that in the second half. First half, that man ran out of this world. I mean, I think he had like 80 yards rushing against us yesterday, but between him and, and the other running back, it's 100, 100 yards rushing. And at the first time this season, we have allowed, uh, allowed 100 yards rushing between two backs, including including uh, 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 um, Mahomes. Mahomes had about... 35, 40 yards worth, so we we'll add, add that to it as well. And uh, so, it just, it just crazy. It, 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 it was a crazy game. 
It's been a crazy year, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I'm just, I'm just completely blown out of my mind after yesterday's win, 21-17, because this is a game we should have lost, but we won the game. I'm not gonna say we were lucky because Kansas had many opportunities to catch the ball for first downs, and the one in the end zone that the boy dropped, that was the one that killed Kansas City. I think if that boy had caught that touchdown, Eagle would have lost the football game 27-20, 24-21. We would have lost the game by, by three points. But instead, we won by five, I mean by four. So I'm hoping that this works out. I'm hoping it does because, um, hold on. 9-1, I'm happy to be 9-1. It was just how we won 9-1 and, and how we became to be 9-1. We have been playing sloppy football all season. And the Eagles ran the ball efficiently yesterday. That was surprising. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what you call had like, I think, he, I think he had like 75, 80 yards rushing overall against Kansas City Chief defense. Now, had they consistent had they consistently run the football in, in both halves, it would be a different story. But who can we well, who, who can we say, like I said, we, we don't make the play, we don't call the plays, we don't design plays, and we don't know how these teams are reacting to these plays, particularly our team on, on offense and defense. So, like I said, we got a new offensive coordinator that we had to adjust, and we got a new defensive coordinator that we got to adjust to. So, so the way this, the way it's looking, the way it's playing out, the Eagles gonna be playing like, like this the rest of the season, dropping football. It, it, it won't be no. It, it won't be no consistent call. I mean, it won't, won't, won't be no consistent play between the team, between between the Eagles, rest of the year. Go be sloppy football all year, and that's and that's how, and that's how and that's how we're winning games. We're winning games playing sloppy football. You know, you just gotta stick it out, tough it out, and try your best to win. That's all we can do at this moment, and that's all we can hope for. For the free Devil Eagles team. Like I said, the team is playing resiliently. They playing with effort. And they playing with courage. Because you gotta think about how many times Hurts was sacked. You gotta think about how many times the offensive line allowed the pass rush to get to Hurts. You gotta think about the run game, the lack the, the lack of the run game thereof in the first half. So how you come out running the football more than what you did. So you gotta think about all the all the possibilities of the game we won in the trenches and that we did and that we, and that what we did. We on the we, 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 they on the sack of Mahomes once in this game and that sack was by um none of that um that that Hasim Reddit he got the only sack in that game and they got five sacks. They got four more sacks than Hasim Reddit. So um Hasim Reddit got seven sacks for, for the season. Seven and a half sacks they be eight so long up in there. He closing in on double digit sacks again this season around. It won't be it won't be 16 sacks that he had last year. He might get around 13 or 14 sacks, which is still a good job well done by the defense. And and, and as long as teams continue to, to, to double team uh, Jason Carla, I mean uh, yeah Jalen Carla or um or uh, 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 or um Jordan you gonna see the pass rush like that all the time the rest of the year. Um, teams, the Eagles have been getting pressure four, four front, four man, four and five man front. They've been getting pressure. They just haven't been getting to Mahomes because Mahomes have been getting the ball out like 1.5, 2.5 seconds per drawback. So that's what this Eagles team is faced with. And it's what they're gonna be playing the rest of the year. Teams, quarterback will go be getting rid of the football at in in, in an alarming rate because the Eagles are getting to the quarterback. We get into the quarterback on four and five man fronts. And I'm hoping the side creates some, some more pressure and some more design pressures against the Buffalo Bears next week because see uh, Josh Allen is one of the better quarterbacks in the game. He, to me, to me, um Jordan, to me, um Josh Allen is he he he's a bigger threat to run the football than um, Mahomes, yeah, Mahomes on the run to avoid the pass rush. Josh Allen would tuck that ball and he would get 15 or 20 yards on you, on you for first down. 
See, Josh Allen can run the ball effectively. Mahomes ain't them. He ain't that much of a run. He run on if he's in on, on if he's in trouble. So um, that's what I that's what I wanted to say on to you guys. Hope you guys understand this card. This is this is urgent, and um, we got to win. We got to win, and we are nine and one. We're the, we're the best team in the NFL to fight. Our one loss, the fight the way we are playing, the fight the play calling, the fight the coaching, and the fight the team. Injury or non injury. And this the and this the first time the Eagles have played a team where we didn't get injured, but on, on, I think only one guy got injured and, and that was uh, on the tight end Katara. He the only one that got injured. He had a foot injury, he said a foot brain, he don't he don't want he don't want to get hurt in this game and he didn't come back. He's the only one. Everybody else played well, bar none injuries. I'm hoping that the injury report come out for next week. I mean, um, for it will actually for for um, Saturday and Sunday that, that, that the injury report is still minimum. The fight, Calcaterra, who got hurt in the game against Kansas City Chiefs yesterday. So that is what we are faced with. This week we're going to be playing the rest of the season, and and, and nothing we can do about it. We can say about it because this week the team is playing. And this way, this way they're winning games. They're winning games by playing sloppy football. And so it is what it is. We had a good, we had, we had a consistent team last year, and then this year we played sloppy ball because we got a new defensive coordinator and we got a new offensive coordinator calling plays. And there's no other way around it. So it is what it is, folks. Um, this is your boy, the Almighty One, coming to this video. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to sub the channel. And you guys enjoy your Tuesday. And, it, and, and it's gonna be a hell of a week, y'all. Eagles won a game. It's, it's, it's Celebration Tuesday. We are 9 and 1. We beat Kansas City for the first time in four tries. The Eagles are now 1 and 4 against Kansas City, and he's really 4 and 1 against us. He's beaten us four times. And that's, that's three times in the regular season, one from the playoffs. Five all together, plus yesterday gave me five. So now we are so now we are one and four. Or if you don't if you don't want to count the playoffs, you can say one and three, if you don't want to. Yeah, one and three if you want to. Yeah, you can say one and three. But overall, it all adds up. Playoffs and regular season, four and zero, oh, one and four. It be for the first time in a long time. So they just go to show how tough and resilient the, the, the Eagles team is. We 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 lost the streak against New York Jets, twelve and one, and we started a new streak against the Kansas City Chiefs, one and four. So, again, enjoy your Tuesday, and maybe there, maybe there's more videos to come this week. I'm not exactly sure because this is Thanksgiving week, y'all. If there are some more games coming, there will, there will be some games Thursday night. Can't the Thanksgiving game Thursday night? So I may make a video on that for sure. But I might have a video coming again today, or I may have one coming tomorrow. Not exactly sure. So it, 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 it all depends on the timing. But like I said, this is Thanksgiving week. A lot of things are bound to happen. So again, whew. Eagles win, y'all. Twenty-one seventeen, a resilient win. Playing sloppy football. <laughs> like I said, this is how we're going to be playing the rest of the year. Y'all might as well get used to it. It is what it is. No more complaints need to be put out there. Enjoy your week.